Went to Juco College in Rochester, my uncle family lived, and graduated from there. Then, you know, UCF come knocking on the door. I still had other few options, but if you know me, I'm from Guinea, where it's hot, the sun, so when Florida came by, you know, I couldn't pass by, and I'm grateful for the opportunity that I had to go there and pursue my education and play in soccer at the same time. Going into the draft, you know, all this mock draft that was coming out, you know, I was never in the first round, not even in the second round. But all I wanted, you know, was an opportunity. And my opportunity was to go into the draft combine. And I knew from there everything was clean slate. Luckily, I went there and I had a really good draft, you know, performed really well and impressed a lot of teams there. I was thankful enough, Lando, a team that was nearby who came to watch few of my college games, you know, decided to select me and I will never forget that opportunity. It meant a lot for me, you know, and that can show, you know, other players that wants to become a professional soccer player, that anything is possible. It's hard to describe, man. Like you said, this is Kaká, man, a Ballon d'Or winner, World Cup winner, you know, so just the first day I can tell you when I came into the locker room and seeing him, I, my eyes would not stop watching him, you know, because this is somebody we all admire, soccer players. But as days go by, you know, you start realizing, yeah, he's your teammate. And he's one of the nicest guy ever, you know, the most humble guy. You never feel like he's that of a superstar when he's around you. He likes to make you comfortable as much as you can. And, you know, it was definitely a life-changing experience for me, and I'll never forget that. It was a, a change in my career, you know, I was coming from MLS for two years in Orlando where I felt like I really didn't play much, you know, and I'm a guy, you know, I just, I want to play, that's what makes me happy, so I just wasn't content with just being at the highest level, which is MLS here in America, and not play, you know, so I wanted to go somewhere and really play soccer, so that's why I decided to make that move, even if it was a lower division, but I knew I was going to get a lot of opportunity to show my, showcase my talent. And that's exactly what I did. So going there, you know, Sporting KC to, you know, just enjoying myself, going back to like my old days of just playing game in, game out. And I was able to showcase, you know, what I'm capable of doing on the soccer field. But it was a year to remember as well. It's very special. It's one of my proudest moments ever, you know, just being a proud Guinean and to be going back home and representing your country, it was, it's an honor, man. And especially to do it in front of friends and family that knows you from, you know, from young age to see where you're becoming. You know, it was a very special moment. I'm very proud of that moment. I always proud and I will never want to forget where I come from. You know, Guinea is my root. I was born there, you know, everything about me is, you know, this boy from Guinea, Conakry. So I like people to remember that, you know, when you see Haji Berry, you know, that's the first thing I want you to recognize, you know, he's from Guinea and he's proud of it. And, you know, with the symbolic thing, you know, it, it reminds me where I come from, you know, with the people that really trusted me and the people that are trying to make proud every single day I step on that field. So that's my family, friends, you know, everybody that's from back home.